Hi guys, so recently I've been researching a lot about plants as well as purchasing a few indoor pot plants to have around the house because I feel like it gives your house a little bit more life as well as a really nice fresh organic feel to it as well and recently I've been really loving these really simple printed pots that I've seen on Instagram and Pinterest so I'll show you a picture of the pots that I'm talking about so they're just really nice simple ones with the simple patterns like the zigzags um, crosses and triangles on it as well so from what I've seen, they cost about $100, $150 online, which isn't too bad. But I feel like when it comes to buying home decor, things that are on trend that you won't necessarily have around the house for a long time, then it's not really something that I want to spend a lot of money on. Um, and it's something that's simple that is that you can purchase elsewhere that's a lot cheaper or even better, make one yourself. So I thought today I'll do a DIY on how to make these printed pots. So here's a few things you'll need. You'll need a drop cloth to clean your station so you don't get paint everywhere. You'll need a masking tape to tape up your shapes that you desire. you need a newspaper just to keep it tidy and also test out your paint. you need a paint of choice. I've chosen a metallic gold spray paint. And you'll need a pot which I've just purchased at Masters. So I'm just going to lay out my cloth and put my pot in the middle so I can start decorating it. Using masking tape, I'm just going around taping the pattern that I want on my pot and I've chosen the double zigzag print all the way around. Now I do recommend that you use a pencil and draw out your pattern before you start masking taping just so you can get the print nice and even. However, I'm a bit of an eager beaver and I just started taping the whole thing so I just continued taping it. So it was a little bit hard, I had to play around with the different tapes to try and make sure that they're all nice and even. And also, make sure when you choose a pot, you try and choose one that is nice and smooth. The rougher the pot, it tends the paint tends to kind of bleed a bit and you don't get a nice straight line. So once that's done, all I do is just go through and make sure I've pressed all the masking tape securely down so it doesn't leave any gaps so the paint will seep through it. Now I've chosen the metallic gold spray can to paint my pot and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab that newspaper and spray a little bit onto the newspaper just so I can check the consistency of the spray can. The worst thing you want to happen is to have a lot of paint distribute on one particular particular area so I'm just going to play around with the spray can till I get a really nice consistency and a feel of how the spray is going to work before I start putting that on my pot and once I'm happy with that I'm just going to focus on the areas I want sprayed and do a really nice light coat over it. I would also recommend that when you are taping this pot you also tape the sides of the pot as well. Just when you're moving and spraying, you'll tend to get the paint on your fingers. Um, also be good if you wore gloves as well, I totally forgot. But basically when you move the pot around, you'll get the paint on the fingers and then it'll start transferring onto the pot on the inside. So just to make sure that's all clear, is make sure that you also take the inside of it so you don't get any paint on the inside. And then what I'll do once I'm done with the first coat, I'll let it sit for about 10 minutes and apply another coat um, just to make sure that the pot is completely covered with the paint I and mean, if it hasn't then I'll just go through and color it again with a third coat and then let that sit for at least an hour just so that the paint is um, starting to dry up a bit. So once the paint is all dried, you can now go ahead and remove the masking tape. Now when you remove the masking tape, it's important that you remove it towards the paint just so you're not creating any um, bleeding lines, I guess, when you take it off. The worst thing is to have a really nice pot but have little blurred bleeding lines along the end of it. So you want to try to keep this as clean as possible. Almost done. So I've removed all the masking tape along the ends and I'm just going to now move the one in the middle. So I'm going to do this slowly so it doesn't cause a bleeding effect 
between the lines so I'm just going to slowly rip off the masking tape bit by bit and just take my time so it turns out nice and perfect. So after you've removed all your masking tape that's pretty much it and there you have it your nice pretty printed pot ready to be used. So just to give you an idea of what I did to use the pot to decor my house, I have this empty space at the front of the house which I wanted to give it a little bit more life and something pleasant for guests to look at when they come in. So using the pot, I planted some yucca plants in it and also included a full length mirror that I purchased from Ikea just to make that space look a little bit bigger and also versatile so you can kind of check yourself before you leave. So I hope you enjoyed this DIY and if you do please give me a thumbs up and also make sure you leave a comment below if you've tried making this as well and also make sure you link me on Instagram so I can check it out and all my details are listed below and please also make sure you subscribe so you can see more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.